The Most Magnificent Thing, authored by Ashley Spires. This is a regular girl and her best friend in the whole wide world. They do all kinds of things together. They race, they eat, they explore, they relax. She makes things, he unmakes things. One day the girl has a wonderful idea. She is going to make the most magnificent thing. She knows just how it'll look. She knows just how it'll work. All she has to do is make it. And she makes things all the time. Easy peasy. First, she hires an assistant. Next, they gather their supplies. They set up somewhere out of the way. Then, they get to work. The girl tinkers and hammers and measures, while her assistant pounces and growls and chews. When she is finished, she steps back to admire her work. She walks around one side. Her assistant examines the other side. It doesn't look right. Her assistant picks it up and gives it a shake. It doesn't feel right either. They are shocked to discover that the thing isn't magnificent or good or even kind of sort of okay. It is all wrong. The girl tosses it aside and gives it another go. She smooths and wrenches and fiddles. Her assistant circles and tugs and wags. When she is finished, she stands up and takes a long look at it. Her assistant gives it a nudge with his paw. The thing is still wrong. She decides to try again. And the girl saws and glues and adjusts. She stands and examines and stares. She twists and tweaks and fastens. She fixes and straightens and studies. She tries all different ways to make it better. She makes it square. She makes it round. She gives it legs. She adds an antenna. She makes it fuzzy. She makes it long, short, rough, smooth, big, small. One even smells of stinky cheese, but none of them are magnificent. Her hard work attracts a few admirers, but they don't understand. They can't see the magnificent thing that she has in her mind. She gets mad. The angrier she gets, the faster she works. She smashes pieces into shapes. She jams parts together. She pummels little bits in. Her hands feel too big to work, and her brain is too full of all the not right things. If only the thing would just work. The pain starts in her finger. It rushes up to her brain and she explodes. It is not her finest moment. I'm no good at this. I quit. Her assistant suggests to walk.
it's not much of a help first. But before too long, she starts to feel different. Bit by bit, the mad gets pushed out of her head. As they stroll along, she comes across the first wrong thing she made. The bad feelings are about to start all over again. Then she notices something surprising. There are some parts of the wrong things that are really quite right. The bolts on one, the shape of another, the will to seat ratio of the next. There are all sorts of parts that she likes. By the time she reaches the end of the trail, she finally knows how to make the thing magnificent. She gets to work. She works carefully and slowly, tinkering, hammering, twisting, fiddling, gluing, painting. Her assistants make sure that there are no distractions. This old man here says, this is the perfect thing to ward off bears. And then this lady, she says, this will stop that leak. And then the boy, he says, this one's all wet. The afternoon fades into evening. Finally, she finishes. She alerts her assistant. The pair take a good long look. It leans a little to the left. It's a bit heavier than expected. The color could use a bit of work too, but it's just what she wanted. They climb aboard and take it for a spin. They are not disappointed. It really is the most magnificent thing.